I've been there twice with my wife. I saw everything she did to take care of herself physically and emotionally when she was pregnant. And if you're expecting, you've probably felt overwhelmed at some point by the countless resources and all the options. Linda Champa is here to cut through some of that noise for us. She's a, a well-known RN who's worked with families for years. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Mike. Thanks for having me. Oh, great to have you here. I want to get specific here and start with hydration. We know that's really important, but how can we make sure babies and toddlers are properly hydrated? Well, you know, Mike, for the first six months of life, babies get all the hydration and nutrition that they need, either from breast milk or from formula. So if you're breastfeeding, you need to keep yourself hydrated. And if you're mixing formula, you want to make sure that you have a good, clean source of water on hand that you can trust. I've always recommended a purified, steam distilled water like nursery. This is specially made for toddlers and infants, and it comes with or without fluoride. And you can mix it with formula or with cereal. And the great thing is, when the baby is a little bit older, Older, you can pour it into a sippy cup and offer it as a healthy alternative to sugary drinks. Yeah, after uh, our firstborn, I guess we didn't realize the importance of oral health for a newborn after until yeah. we talked to our yeah. doctor. How important is that? Right. That's so true, Mike. You know, I'm, I'm a labor and delivery nurse. A lot of patient um, mothers don't know that babies are born with their little teeth right under their gums. So right from the get-go, you can start wiping out their mouth with a, with a wet dry cloth, uh, a wet cloth twice a day. And when the first tooth comes in, you want to start brushing it. And by year one, you want to take your baby to the dentist. Or if the tooth comes in earlier than that, take the baby to the dentist right away. I see you've got some important foods right in front of you. Are there any uh, everyday healthy eating <laughs> tips that can help moms meet sure. some of those nutritional needs? You know, Right. You know, Mike, diet is so important when a woman is pregnant or breastfeeding. And there's clear evidence today that the omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA, these are abundant in fish. These are vital for the development of the baby's brain and eyes. And so it's important for women to eat at least two servings of fish each week or take mm. a high-quality omega-3 supplement that has at least 200 milligrams of that DHA every day. And even if you're not pregnant, omega-3s are important for all of us because they help maintain a healthy blood pressure and triglyceride levels. They're also good for our eyes and our brain. Yeah, you know, this part of the country, you're familiar with this part of the country because you spent some time around I here. Am. But uh, we don't In often City. get, yeah, we don't often get some of those minerals that we should. Um, but I, I want to I expand on that a little bit uh, when it comes to vitamins and supplements because I know they play a role during uh, and after pregnancy, really, don't they? Right. Omega-3s do. Also, folic acid, your prenatal vitamin is so important to take. So you want to go for some, if you're thinking about becoming pregnant, you want to go for some prenatal counseling. Your, um, your provider will probably start you on a prenatal vitamin even before you become pregnant because folic acid is so important. It's the B vitamin that's so important before conception because mm -hmm. it helps prevent neural, neural tube defects. And there's other things, iron, calcium, again, the omega-3s, all very important. And your, um, your provider can help set you up even before you become pregnant. Yeah. Any additional ways to keep uh, our families healthy? Sure. I wanted to talk about safety with children. I don't know if you know this, Mike, but the number one, the leading cause of, of, of death and serious injury in this country for infants and young children is car accidents. So you want to make sure that you always secure your child in a car seat when you're driving. And if you happen to be in the market for a new vehicle, you might want to look at the 2017 Subaru Legacy. Mm -hmm. This can help keep your family safe on the road with standard all-wheel drive that handles just about any weather condition. And Mike, it has safety features like something called the EyeSight Crash Prevention System. This this technology is amazing. It will actually slow the car down if it senses danger, and it helps you stay in your lane if you're drifting. So it's sort of like having an extra set of eyes on the road or an extra foot on the brake if you need it. Yeah, good information. I know on this 4th of July, uh, we've been hearing about uh, fireworks safety as well, so I know uh, yeah. a lot of parents need to keep their eye out on that. How about a website to go in case our viewers want to follow up with you, Linda? Sure, sure. I'll tell you about that in a second, but I also want to tell you, protect your little one's eyes when you're out in that sun on the 4th of July. You want to put sunglasses on their eyes to, to block the UV rays. Um, it's really important to look for a pair that are safe and durable. I really like these cool-looking ones from Babyators. They have 100% UVA and UVB protection. Frames are flexible, lenses are shadow-resistant, and if you break them or lose them within one year of purchase, you can get another pair for free. You want to find out about any of this information that I spoke about here today, you can go to a website called betterstufforlife.com. It's all one word, betterstufforlife.com, and you can find all of this information there. And with those, uh, with those glasses, the kids just look look cool, don't they? Linda, thanks for your time this morning. We appreciate they, they it. They do. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> all righty. Still ahead, Steve Spurgeon. He's a local singer-songwriter encouraging us all to wake up 
first, another recording artist. You know MC Hammer, right? What he's up to now that caught our attention.